Okay. Hi, my name is Lolly Vegas. Okay. I'm the leader and uh, lead singer for Redbone, okay. the American Indian rock group. I started the, the group with my brother Pat. Uh, we signed with uh, CBS Records in 1969, and uh, in, ni in 1974, we had the number one selling single of the year, Come and Get Your Love. Okay. Yes, I remember that. I was uh, in the eighth grade when it came on, and we, me as usual, we weren't supposed to take our radios or any re cassette recorders to school, but mm -hmm. of course, you know, kids will be kids, so I used to bring mine in my gym bag, and we used to play the music, and you were being played 24-7 on there, and we all used to sing there. We were all bunched up in the line over there, kicking back, uh, having lunch, and listen to your music. Um, this is Christy Martinez from BaddestOldies.com. I'm here today with uh, Lolly Vegas. Vegas, right? Vegas. Vegas, okay. Uh, with Redbone. And um, how, uh, what uh, got you into the music business? Were you working with other bands or were you DJing way back in the day? No, I was, uh, my brother and I were uh, playing in small bands around Fresno, California. Okay. And, uh, we decided to come to L.A. in 1959, okay. and uh, we came and we conquered. <laughs> we just uh, immediately fell in with some other musicians and started working immediately. Okay. Were you known as Redbone back then, or no, did you we have another name? No, we were known as Pat and Lolly Vegas. Okay. Pat and Lolly Vegas. Okay. The Kings of the Strip, Hollywood Strip. And what type of music were you uh, doing back then? Was it the R&B sound or jazz? Yeah, it was jazz mostly yeah, R&B. Uh, uh -huh. uh, we did a lot of a lot of Motown cover stuff. Mm -hmm. Dance. We've always our music has always been danceable. Okay. And so. uh, did you get? Uh, uh, at that time, were you already signed on with CBS at that point? No, no, no we, weren't, we weren't. We didn't have a label deal at all. Okay. We signed with uh, CBS in 1969. Oh, in 69. Okay. So during that time, were you doing most of, um, were you on stage at uh, places? And then also, did you do any demos that they were able to play on the radio at the time? Or how yes, did that work we out? Had, we had a, a turntable hit called Robot Walk. Okay. Uh, it didn't sell a lot of records, but they played the hell out of it on, <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> robot, robot walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you still have that, like, uh, 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 on a compilation that you'll be working on in the future, or something that you're going to put all your music together, or? Yeah, as a parts? matter of fact, uh -huh. I do. All right. We'd like to hear that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that one came out in '59, or just uh, right after they're turning uh, into the '60s there. No, it was. Uh, it was after that. Okay. Like 71. Okay. So during the time, during the 60s, you were um, primarily working here in California? Were you doing uh, opening as opening acts or, yeah, or we were you also writing stuff. for other people? We did all that stuff. We played uh, mm -hmm. for seven years at Gazzari's on, on the Sunset Strip. Okay. Anyway. Now, yeah. did you have a full band with you or it was just you and your brother? We had a trio. Oh, it was okay. me and my brother and the drummer. All right. Okay. And you guys did most of your writing and your work? We did all of our writing. You did all of your writing. Okay. And at the same time, were you writing for any other artists at, at yes. the time? Yes. We, we, we wrote for Aretha Franklin, uh -huh. uh, Burton Cummings, uh, P.J. Proby. We got a song on the Lady Soul album, Aretha Franklin's Lady Soul album, called Nicky Hokey. That we wrote that. Okay. So during that time, um, did you branch out and go out of state, like to New York or uh, or even overseas, to uh, promote your music and also go on stage for the yeah when we fans signed, we signed mm -hmm. when we signed with CBS in 1969. Mm -hmm. 
the first promotional tour they sent us on was to Europe. And we were okay. over there for seven months. Wow. I guess you hit England, France, yeah, wherever, we, we, huh? Everything. <laughs> everything. We were we were we were over there so long. Uh-huh. I think I would have slid a nun's throat for a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, now, um, from what they're saying, and we've done several uh, interviews with other artists um, from the 50s and 60s, and now a lot of them are going back into Europe because there's like a real big market. It's really blown up there big time. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I think, you know, you started there, and I think you're going to probably be going back there if it's not now in the near future because that's where the... Or it's really happening there. Well, we're going to do This record here uh -huh. is from... I'm going to uh, switch over in here. That's record there is from uh, England, okay. and this record here is from Holland. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get. S I'll turn the light over there right now. There we go, Redbone, Legend of Redbone, and New Orleans, and then that yeah. one is. Yeah, you can probably get it back from this side. Let's see if I can get into there. I'll bring it around. Better? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Still not too close. It was really small writing in that one. I believe I had that 45 right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to find out what happened to it. My sister got all my collection. <laughs> and then the other one was from where? Sweden? Or what was that? Just? The Holland. Holland. Okay. Here, I'll move that Sweet one. Sweet. Right yeah. Yeah, I can barely pick up some of the writing on it. So those were in the, uh, those were the 60, well, there's the one there with 74. So those came in right alongside, right alongside, around the same time frame then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we, when we went to uh, Europe in 71, this uh -huh. was a big hit in, in England. And, and that was, that was, that was which a Queen of hit. New Orleans? That was a big okay. Hit. That was a big hit in Holland. Okay. We were all wounded at Wounded Knee. All right. Now, what do you have? Uh, I have Iron Iron Moccasin Joe. Let me see if I can get back on this. I want to show you one of Lolly's poster prints from uh, Europe. Let me back uh, up. I'm too That's close from here. Frankfurt, Germany. When wow. we played it there. See, 1970. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to zoom right into it. Now, did you do this uh, portrait here? or You did this work on here? No, I didn't. But I do. Okay. That, that's my... Artwork right there. Okay. I do a lot of painting. Okay. Let me switch off here. That's my painting. Let's see if I get over a little bit more to the side. Uh, my psychedelic horses. Let's get a close up. Get a little reflection from the light, but we can see the image pretty good here. All right. Now this portrait here in the middle here, is that a family member here? Yeah, that was my uncle. Okay. Red Cougar. <laughs> my Anna. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, were you originally here from, from is it from California where you've been? Uh, where you've been from? Where yeah, you we're, from? me and my brother, uh, we're from Fresno, California. From Fresno, okay. And we, that's where we started, mm -hmm. and we, we played all around that area. Uh -huh. This is one of my paintings. Okay, I'm going to scoot right down on that. Wow, look at that. I'm going to get a close-up on the face. Is this anybody that you know in particular, or just the uh, inspiration? It's uh, called Wichasa Sapa. Okay. It means black medicine man. Oh, okay. All right. Wichasa Pejuta. <laughs> Wichasa Pejuta Sapa. Now, are you uh, are you working on more portraits and things like that now? Oh, yes. Then, uh, As, as a matter of fact, I just got a, an art uh, agent in New York. Oh, really? Okay. And uh, they're working on uh, having a one-man show for me in, in 
in Manhattan. Oh, really? This year? Yes. Oh, it, what, towards the summertime or might? Uh, probably uh, around uh, June. Okay. Because we might be, is it going to be there just for one month or it'll be there for a couple months or is it going to be pretty much? Uh, well, my agent is working out the details right now. I don't okay. have all the details. Okay. Because I know there's a, a, a Latino festival out there sometime at, towards the end of July that we might be out there mm -hmm. towards Brooklyn. So I know that's not too, too far away <laughs> and stuff like that. But uh, if they have a ceremony, that would be nice to tie it in together and be yeah. out there for it if we possibly could. Yeah. All righty. Well, that's great. Now, are you going to be present there during the time of the yes, ceremony will, and all that? Yes, I will be present. All right. I will be uh, signing my paintings. Okay. Now, are you going to be uh, having these for resale, or is it just strictly for the muse museum or the... No, they're, they're for sale. They're for sale. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have a website or anything like that that they can see some of the portraits or anything that you would like to um, contribute, that you would like to have them sold and stuff like that? Where people can see a little bit more about your paintings and, and uh, what other artwork you do? Yeah, I do. I do have a website. Uh, and right now, I cannot remember the address. <laughs> okay. Does it have your name in it? Yeah. It's got okay. It's L. Vegas dot uh, at rr at at socal okay dot com at socal dot com so that's your email address all yes. right mm -hmm. okay well that way they can check into it and then you'll be posting the the date and time that you're going to be out there towards uh, New York yes for that are yes. you going to be going working around into the other states as well. Or primarily just New York for right now that you know of. Uh, well, the big the big show is in New York. Okay. The one man show will be in New York, Manhattan. In Manhattan. Okay. Alrighty. Now, um, getting back, are you do uh, writing any music right now? Are you doing? I any write kind of every day. Every day, huh? Every oh. day. These books here are all. Uh huh. Brand new music. All right. And um, as far as um, doing any performances, you're still working on that, uh, you know, with your health-wise and things like that. I'm not. I'm not able to perform right now. Okay. I had a. I had a stroke in uh, August 5th, uh, 19, uh, 1995. Okay. And uh, I. Uh, I really became uh, partially paralyzed on my left side. Mm -hmm. From that, I'm unable to play my guitar right now. Okay. But I'm, I'm currently undergoing extensive therapy, mm -hmm. and uh, I am wounded, but not slain. All right. And I shall okay. arise to uh -huh. fight again. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. You'll be back. Yes. All right. Now, right now, through through Redbone. Um, I guess with, uh, uh, is it uh, just you, uh, Iron? I used to play. With, I used to play with his brother Pat. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we did quite a few shows and stuff. But uh, about three, four years ago was one of the last shows that we did over at uh -huh. the Gene Autry Museum. And uh, since that time, you know, I've been just working around uh, different studios and mentoring a lot of inner city kids and stuff, okay. and getting them to know, you know, people in the industry people who have inspired me, such as Pat and Lolly and mm -hmm. um, other musicians, Jewel, uh, Brenton Wood, a lot of different people. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lolly, Lolly, I invite, I invite him to a few of the shows to meet a lot uh -huh. of his old time friends, you know, uh -huh. Charles Wright, uh, Brenton Wood, uh, uh, Ron Shai, you remember Marvin and Johnny and uh -huh. a lot of the old people because, uh, like I say, Lolly's been a, a big inspiration to me okay. and I just carry the prodigy of Redbone, you know, as okay. well as, you know, to make a difference. I, I believe you're, you're going to be uh, per, uh, performing at an upcoming car show, I think yeah, it's I'll next be, month? Yeah, I'll be performing March 12th mm -hmm. at a place called the Red Rooster. Um, how I got the name Iron Joe was because a lot of the car clubs have been following me around, so uh -huh. I figure, you know, do something that 
has a, mm -hmm. a kick to it as far as you know the mm -hmm. Iron Age, you know, uh, the way cities grow, up, the mm -hmm. way the way Indians grow up in uh -huh. the big cities. Will you be mm -hmm. there, Lolly? Do you think maybe you'll be able to have a chance to show up? Yeah, on March twelfth. All there. right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to that day. We've covered a lot of car shows, a lot of, uh, believe it or not, a lot of cruise nights are coming back with the cars, too. A lot of them have them either the first or second Fridays of the month. Yeah. I think uh, nephew, tonight's Larry, the Duke here in La Puente. My nephew, Larry Gonzalez, mm -hmm. owns the magazine uh, Lowrider. Uh-huh. He started Lowrider magazine. Uh, he's your what? Your, My nephew. Your nephew. Oh, okay. That, that's Gonzalez. good to know. They're really busy with that uh, magazine. Yeah. Yeah, they're he's, worldwide, he's, really heavy in Japan, too, here. Yeah, he's, a, he's quite successful and a oh. hell of a nice guy. Yeah. Well, that's good. They've branched off into uh, an art magazine, yeah. which uh, I've seen in, I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it, but I know that um, uh, in the art magazine that they have, they have a lot of uh, uh, entries with a Native American background in it. And some of them have won some of the prizes because they give out money prizes for their stuff and like that. And he does. He promotes a lot of car shows too. Mm hmm And the bike bike shows. Most of the bikes they they yeah. have their entries in there too for the youngsters that go in there. Yeah, I think they're going to be starting up pretty soon. They usually start up around February, March, right around there when they have it, or April, I think it is, when they start off, and then it goes all the way to the last. The last uh, car show is normally in uh, around September, October, and this usually finishes up in Las Vegas, Nevada. Alrighty. Okay, so. Um, Would you like Aaron me to Joe? put you on? Huh? So you could come and take your picture with uh, Lolly here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll hold that for you. you go ahead and I hope I'm not going to, so I'm just trying to get everything together here. I blend in with the pink and the red. Hello, everybody out there. Christy Martinez in Lolly Vegas. Hi, this, this is my girl, <laughs> Christina Martinez. Yeah. I'm Lolly Vegas from Redbone. And I'm from uh, actually two websites for BrassaHookups.com and BaddestOlive.com. We're covering for both. And we're here today uh, doing the interview. And uh, we hope to get this up as soon as possible so that all of you can enjoy it and have okay. some photo shows. I'll see everybody at the car show. Um, March 12th in Montevideo, California. Mm -hmm. Peace out. <laughs> My big little chip moon cheeks. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to work out. Yeah, I started working out. Me too. Okay. <laughs> I, I joined Bally's. You joined Bally's? Yeah, I've got the total fitness going on. and. Uh, yeah. Basically because I'm diabetic. It's picking it up, so it's all right. A lot of people know about it. I'm kind of... Um, very lucky to be alive. I had an episode three years ago. I didn't have a stroke, but I had pancreatitis. Ooh. And I was in the hospital I'm, I'm for close to four months. Oh, okay. Do everything you possibly can not to get it, because once you're over that line, it's really hard to get back. And on my side of the family, I've got it on both sides, so that's where it really hits me, you know, really hard. And uh, I'm pretty much a survivor from that. And I had to learn how to walk and everything, too, a lot of rehab. And um, uh, unfortunately, from being bedridden for so long, I had a blood clot. So they had me again <laughs> for another six months. So I was doing pretty bad. But I'm still on medication, still under doctor's care. So I still haven't gotten out of that. But anyway, oh, back. What, what kind back of medication are you on? Oh, geez. Um, Dilatin? Okay, now, Iron Joe, how did you get involved with Redbone altogether? I mean, uh, I know you're here helping out with the tributes and stuff like that. But give us some 411 and how well, you got involved. Well, a few years back of a friend of mine, Steve Madrano, had passed away. Okay. And, uh, he's a guitar player. That, uh, you probably remember the group West Winds. Uh, mm, he yes. used to play with the uh, uh, Coco Escobedo, you know, Braxes. And uh huh. Peter Escobedo, you probably know Sheila E. Yes. Peter Escobedo. Yeah. Yeah, they play those timbales. Yeah, so uh -huh. when when Steve had passed away, um, I had ran into uh, Garrett, Garrett Saracho. Mm -hmm. And uh, Garrett got me hooked up in. I remember meeting Lolly and Pat for one of the mm -hmm. first times back in 1971, mm -hmm. and I would never thought that you know that years would go by mm -hmm. and we'd come back and meet and actually go and uh, perform with the group Redbone. Okay. And so you know I toured with them for a while, mm -hmm. and then um, things just started you know it, you know you know Lolly you know Lolly's the main the main guy, yeah. and you know part of the dissipation is, mm -hmm. is, is, you know, when you have your pillars and your strong 
people that make the backbone of the group. It, it changes a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And so um, everybody just basically went their own way. Mm -hmm. And so myself is to carry on and to help my elders, to help my people, to help them to mm -hmm. continue you know, the best of what you can do as an okay. artist. So I've, now I'm doing a lot of independent stuff mm -hmm. and I'm going around and I mentor kids and to All get right. them to know some of the artists and let them know the history of rock mm -hmm. and roll. That's what I continue for, for the group. So you do artwork as well, right? Oh, I yeah. think you're oh, doing, yeah. um, oh, I've done yeah. work for, like I said, I've done work for Cher, uh -huh. uh, for Lolly, for uh, Lee Bronson, for Henry Winkler. There's a lot of different uh -huh. people that I have done because uh, these are, are uh, one, of the, one of the God's gifts. Yeah. And so, like I said, you know, mm -hmm. on March 12th, when you come and see the show, you'll see Mighty Group. It's called okay. the Iron Moccasin Joe Band. Mm -hmm. And we do a basic stuff, kind of like the old rock and roll, rhythm mm -hmm. and blues style, what we do. And uh, have you um, written some up, up tunes, getting more music written up lately that you might be oh, yeah. doing that day? Oh, or yeah. are, you, are you working on a CD right now? Yeah, Is right now, right now, I'm currently working with uh, Richie Ambrosa from the uh, group uh, he used to perform with Montrose. And so mm -hmm. we started together, uh, we put together a trio. Right now we're just currently in the infancy of the group. But uh, okay. we plan to start touring pretty soon, within the next month or two. Okay, and is that going to be like an R&B or jazz or what? Oh yeah, it it's going to be R&B, rock and roll. And okay. It's going to have a few different uh, ta dance riffs and stuff. Now will this be on, on like your label or do they have a label or are you um, guys going to put a label right together? Right now I'm just currently looking around seeking okay. labels or else I'll just put it out and promote it myself. Alright, now if uh, the people want to get a hold of you and also uh, if any of the record labels are looking at this interview, um, where could they get a hold of you? Um, you could probably get it to uh, nativeweb.com. Nativeweb.com, uh, okay. And you can get a hold of Al Two Bears and if you need any information he'll be more than happy to give it to you. Okay. Alrighty. As far as management, well, you, you can you can call Lolly. Okay. So are you? <laughs> yeah, I let him take care of the big stuff. So are you looking forward to um, possibly having a CD released by the end of this year, or probably possibly by the end of the year, probably about September. Right around then. Okay. So everybody's kind of putting a little bit of input in the three of you then. Oh yeah. In the group. Yeah. All right. Well, we look forward to maybe checking out a couple of cuts on that. Um, I do definitely will have the uh, internet radio program way up by that time. And uh, that way we can get the people out there, let them hear and see what they can do, and then we'll follow back with you on it. There you go, Bubba. There he comes in. There he comes in. There he is, Bubba. See if okay. you can uh, get a shot with the horns in the back. Okay. <laughs> I'm up here. I'm going to get. And they say sometimes, uh, they say, hey man, do you ever get horny? And I said, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's going way beyond that, huh? <laughs> and there's Joe right there. Okay. Well, we could we wish um, both of you continued success. We look forward to seeing uh, you back on stage behind the mat, He's the mic. He's going to be back. He's going to be back. I know you are. Up. You know, you're working hard at it. Yeah. And, you know, people are patient. I'm, they want to hear it. And there's always room. And, there's you know, we oh, hope to hear okay. some more, wait, more wait of your music. Too. We look forward to hearing some more of your music, your new material that you've been writing. Yeah. Um, at this point right now, since if you're not on stage, is some of your material, are you sending it out to any other artists at this point right now for them to record? Yeah, I have a couple of, I have a couple of songs okay. coming out with different artists. Okay. I have a song coming out with Bobby Caldwell. Okay. And, um... Well, we look forward to uh, hearing that cut and any other um, artists that will be playing your music. And then definitely when you get up and get going with that. And you too, Joe. Um, oh, I forgot your... to mention, there's one song that mm -hmm. me and Lolly had put together with Pat. And it's a song that we had dedicated to Lori Piestawa. You know, she was the first mm -hmm. Hopi woman killed in the Iraq War. And it's a song that, oh, okay. I, that we had wrote it out of a mistake. Oh, no, it was just something that we just put it together and mm -hmm. all of a sudden a lot of the engines liked it. And... Mm -hmm. um, there's a part that says in it, there is a place where the sweet water flows. Mm -hmm. And in our coming, you know, it's a coming of the spirit. And we know that within our hearts, there's only one place where purity walls, and that's in the, the tears of our creator. Okay. And hopefully one day people stop fighting wars and people have a sense of really using your head. Yeah, a lot of togetherness. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, talk about, where's those t-shirts at, babe? 
<laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, Iron Joe is into the screen print business as well. I don't know if he wants to put the plug in for that. Because <laughs> he definitely Get does that. He should offer a and I'll go downstairs to get him. Let me okay. bring you the shirts up, Bubba. Okay. This way, um, sure. I'll tell you what, you why don't we... Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe we'll... we can sell a couple at the car show. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Fun too. Let me go get them real quick. I'll put them on. We're back here. <laughs> and I'm going to zoom in. Uh, uh, like I had mentioned, previously mentioned, uh, uh, Iron Joe is also into the screen print business. He also puts together his own drawings and everything for the prints. And this is something he put together. Yeah. And I'm going to zoom in on this new t-shirt that he has coming out. So everybody, uh, I don't know, Iron Joe, do you want to go ahead and put that down so if they want to purchase well, that know, online Lolly, from you? When Lolly and come and get your love, he wrote, what's the matter with your head? <laughs> yeah. And if you ask the president nowadays, you know, you're going to ask him, what's the matter with your head? <laughs> okay, so it says no head, no backstage. <laughs> then turn it around the other way. This is where I like this shot right here. I'm going to zoom in on here. Okay, people, that there we got the mic. So that basically, I think it, people can identify with that, especially at the end of the day working. <laughs> They're just barely trying to roll on out. Yeah. All right. All right. Hello? Hello. Oh, I've said, yeah, I like it. Okay, this one shows up a lot better on the on the yeah. screen here. Okay, you see that, people? What a vivid imagination, you know? <laughs> and then on the front part, you can flip it around again. And then we got it. Let me zoom right on that calavera. Okay, that goes for everybody for their 9 to 5 job. <laughs> right there. <laughs> okay. All righty. I appreciate both of you taking your time uh, today. Oh, I know it's my I it's my traveling it's on my there pleasure. trying to get here earlier and stuff like that, but boy, that rain sure came down today. We weren't really expecting that much. If I wasn't, Neither my not you. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Joe, for um, putting us together in touch here, for hey, both of us. Yeah. And again, um, we you wish you continued success and <laughs> everything. Anyways, by, by the way, I want you to meet. Uh, okay. PJ? Hello. Hello. Hi. This is Pat Vegas, son. Okay. Hi. 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 Let me zoom in. Hey, kid, how you doing? Hi. I know. I'm going to have to really zoom in on here. Here we go. Yeah. Is that you, Frank? Okay. Hi. Hey. This is here's the Vega family coming in. This is Pat Vegas. All his family. Is it okay? Hi, girls. Hello, everybody. Hi, We're doing an interview here with your dad and stuff. There you go. Alright. Everybody get together and I'll take one. Say, say hi. This is Pat Vegas' daughter. Okay. Frankie. Frankie, okay. And you're the, are you family too? Or no. Your friend? And what's your name? Sapir. Sapir? Okay. <laughs> All right. This is my friend Sapir. Sapir and Bali. All right. No head, no back. I got the family here. <laughs> Hello, and your name? Hi, I'm Masella. Pat's, uh, I don't know, ex, whatever. <laughs> All righty. How are you? Nice what's your name? You? I'm Christy Martinez from BaddestOldies.com. Oh. I'm a reporter, photographer, videographer, et cetera, oh et cetera. Goodness. A mom. And what is this? Mama's taxi for? bus and everything else along wow. with it. Can you share <laughs> one? Hey, hey. Oh, this is Ray. This is Ray. Ray Vegas, this is Excuse me, Hello. Hey, Ray. Hi, how you doing, boy? Boy, we got all the family in the house today. Oh, you doing? Is he also a member too, or Frankie? Yeah, he's an actor. Ray's an actor. Oh, okay. Ray, tell her what movie you just came out of. He was just getting out. How are you? Good. There he is. Oh, my name is Girl. How are you? Man, I've seen you in like four movies. Okay. So many, so many, so much, so much stuff. So much stuff. Like that. Okay. Yeah. My name is Earl. Did you see that? <laughs> what? My name is Earl. So, uh, no, so we I, have saw, I saw you in Spin. Uh, spin. Did you? Yeah, and I saw, I saw you in Doctor. In, uh, Potter, you got everything going on here. Yeah. What's your occasion here? What's going on? Um, um, we're doing an uh, interview. There's Petra. That's Joe's wife. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be on WW. Right on. Oh, and here I am with my hair like full of like oh, uh, oil treatment and black glass on. That's why I'm always behind the mic with Joe coming in front to scare everybody in the audience. Hopefully they don't turn the computer off at the time of viewing this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut this on down now, um, Lalia and Iron Joe. We, I thank you for letting us come into your home here to interview and stuff, and we hope to get this up there as soon as we can. We wish you uh, 
continued success. We wish you and you know pray for you to get on stage as soon as you, as soon as you can. And then for you, Iron Joe, we know you're coming up with the trio there going, in, and we hope forward to looking forward and seeing you on stage as well. Again, this is uh, Christy Martinez from BadassOldies.com. Peace out, people. Bye-bye. Gracias. Adios.